Let's factor this expression. So anytime you have four or more terms, you first want to try grouping. Let's group the first term and the third term and the second term and the fourth term together. Now let's factor out a p cubed from the first two terms. Let's factor out a minus 64 from the second two terms. So the grouping worked. Now let's factor out the p to the eighth minus one. So here we've got a difference of two cubes, p cubed and four cubed, and here we've got a difference of two squares, p to the fourth squared and one squared. To factor the difference of two cubes, so p cubed minus 64 is, now here we've got p to the fourth squared minus one squared, difference of two squares. Okay, now here we've got the difference of two squares again, p squared squared minus one squared. So p squared plus one times p squared minus one. We've got the difference of two squares again. And that's fully factored.